This year for Thanksgiving break, my family decided to travel over 3,100 miles to see as many cool places as we could. And of course, I brought my cameras. First off, about one and a half miles off the shore of the San Francisco Bay sits a 22 acre island. This small island was sold to the United States government in 1849. A lighthouse was built, but it wasn't until 1934 that the island was used as a federal prison. There were never more than 250 prisoners on this island at any time, although the capacity of the island was 450. Only a handful of prisoners ever made escape attempts, and only a small group actually succeeded getting off the island. It is still unknown whether or not these escapees survived this swim back to shore. In 1963, the prison closed, and it is now a Golden State National Park. Next, we went to the Winchester House. Winchester Mystery House, they won't let me film inside, so that kind of sucks. Yo, some might. Yosemite National Park is the third national park in the United States of America. It is truly stunning to see in person and hard to convey with words, so video montage it is. These will be the last trees we see for a while as we are headed into the desert. In 1942, the US military built a base about an hour south of Palm Springs, California in order to train anti-aircraft units. The base was decommissioned in 1956 and the buildings were removed, leaving only concrete foundations. Almost immediately afterwards, squatters moved in and named it Slab City. There are two major attractions in Slab City, Salvation Mountain and East Jesus. Salvation Mountain is a large sculpture built by Leonard Knight. Leonard had an interesting yet simple outlook on religion. If you love Jesus and ask for forgiveness, you'll be saved. In loving Jesus, he built a mountain. Colors, is that what you just said? These are hay bales. Weird. Secondly, East Jesus, despite the name, is not a religious monument. Rather, it is an eclectic accumulation of abstract art formed by Charles Russell. Sticking with weird things in the desert, we have the Salton Sea. The Salton Sea is not only the largest body of water in California, but also man-made. During the 50s and 60s, this man-made oasis was often more popular than Yosemite. This is where things get weird, being an endorheic lake, a lake with no outlet that relies instead upon ground seepage and evaporation. The salt levels started getting far too high in the 70s. This was only half the problem. Fertilizer-rich farming runoff caused algae blooms that killed most of the fish and bird life. The only fish that lives in the sea now is tilapia, and they have a yearly die-off when the algae bloom returns. The white sands that make up the beach are not sands at all. The beaches surrounding the Salton Sea are made up of fish bones. For a place with such a disturbing history, it does have one heck of a sunset. This is why we can't have nice things. 
Being from a landlocked state, the next morning we spent at a beach enjoying the ocean. Later, after some lunch, we found ourselves at the next place on our list, the USS Midway. This massive ship was named after the Battle of Midway in 1942. It was constructed in just 17 months, but missed serving in World War II by only a week. The Midway was heavily utilized during the Cold War and was decommissioned in 1966 as the longest serving aircraft carrier in the 20th century. Today it serves as a historical museum featuring mostly planes and helicopters. The next few places on our list have absolutely no historical value but are cool nonetheless. The world famous Gold and Silver Pawn Shop is the home of History Channel original Pawn Stars and is on the Las Vegas Strip. It is one of those places you sort of just have to go to say you went. For one more weird place we went to Meow Wolf's Area 15, more specifically Omega Mart. There is no way to adequately describe what Omega Mart is other than just art. Weird art. The last stop on our trip of interesting places is Zion's National Park, located in Utah. That concludes our tour of assorted and unrelated cool places in the West. This video took a considerable amount of time longer than anything else we have ever made, so I do not apologize for it being late. The last few weeks have been rough for us with competition, complications, and me being out of state and such. So we should be on our normal schedule sooner than later. As always, thanks for watching. I've been Dane Madsen. Don't do stupid things. Thank you.